Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and author, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show. Have you ever searched for your identity? Let's talk about our search for identity. The search for our identity is a quest in which we all participate. We piece together our identity with things uh, such as maybe uh, where we're from, uh, uh, where we went to school, uh, what we do for a living, and uh, things like achievements and accolades that we have received uh, in the past. Friends, our interests and hobbies could be part of that. Our clothing and what we drive could possibly also help with that. Some of the factors that impact our identity are more passive. We know they are there, but we don't know, uh, uh, but we don't want to admit it. These are things that we really uh, want people to see, like the way we truly view ourselves. Things that have been done to us uh, uh, is, is a way of showing your identity. Things that we have done that we're not proud of is uh, one way that you might not want to show people, but that's part of your identity. The fears we hold, the shame we carry in life, for many, the identity we hold for ourselves becomes a tremendous burden and has staggering consequences in how we view God and His church, the way we treat others, and the priorities we hold dear. Everything we do, say, and say, and think is wrapped up in the way we uh, view ourselves. But what if uh, there was a different way? What if our identity was not rooted in the way we view ourselves, but in the way that God views us? Second Corinthians shows us a different kind of identity, not built on what we have done or what we have acquired, rather uh, an identity based solely on what God has done for us in Christ. My friends, this is all that truly matters, what, Christ, what God has done for us in Christ. Not who we are, but whose are you? Not where you're from, but where are you going? Friends, not what you do, but who you know. And not what have, uh, what have you achieved, but what have you uh, uh, freely received. There's a new identity for those who are in Christ. The old is gone. It is dead and it is buried. The new has come. Jesus Christ became sin for us. He took our place and died for our guilt and shame. In Christ we are given a new identity. You become the righteousness of God. The very picture of his love and grace is the life, uh, or I should say is a life that has been reconciled to him. In Christ, your identity is rooted and grounded in what God has done for you in his love and grace. That is a beautiful identity, isn't it? Don't you want that kind of identity starting today? Well, it's simple. Look to Jesus. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together we can help each other and take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. Remember, a smile to anyone can change their day and it can change your life. Look to Jesus basically means to pray to God, to pray for guidance and direction, and to accept Jesus into your heart. Look to Jesus and claim your identity. Don't look at the way you view yourself, but look at the way God views you. May, may God bless you, each and every one.